Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. We have talked with Roberta Hladik, although we actually talked with Stephen Lewis for many years, and uh, it's all the same company, aimprogram.com. And, um, and we have been very privileged now to have Roberta on the show because she was not, she was kind of the silent partner back there doing all the work while Stephen got all the glory. No, I'm kidding. But now we have Roberta here and we can talk to her. So, Roberta, the uh, question I had is someone said to me, and I had to do this in a very quick way, what is the AIM program all about? And I was going, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what right, would you, it's a good question. Yeah, it's a good question, but you almost need 30 minutes to discuss it. Yeah, it, it is kind of hard to to figure out or for someone to to say what it is in like three words or less or a minute <laughs> or a sentence, yeah. I guess you could say. Well, what the AIM program does is it helps us balance ourselves and it helps remove negative um, vibrations from our being, which helps us be stronger, um, be more confident, um, be more conscious. And a lot of people say, well, what do you mean about being conscious? What does that mean? Well, what it means is that you're more in the moment and you're more watching and seeing what's going on around you, which allows opportunities to come to you that maybe you wouldn't have noticed before. It helps with relationships. It helps you be more present in your relationship and to attract um, those relationships and kindle the relationships that you have. So that's pretty much what it does, and it removes these negative influences and helps us to rise above. I see. Okay, that's fair. I have to remember how to say that, but I think it's that's a very fair statement. But I, I think I hope you like the review that we did on the book. Yes, I loved it. We actually framed it. It's oh, here on our did. wall in the office. Oh, that's so nice. But I think that will help a lot of people to understand it. What do you think? I think so too. And it's a really easy book to read. And um, we also have it on CD so that it's a um, six-CD set, and you can listen to it if you're driving somewhere like this summer. Everybody's going on vacations and things. Um, Pop it in, and you can listen to it. It's a great story. Well, I hope when people join AIM, they tell you that they heard you on the radio. (laughs) I never know. People People don't always do that. I know that. Um, and I, there's some there's some broadcasters say now when you call in tell them that so and so sent you well, I don't do that you know I don't like to do that so I always wonder and yet there are people say I just they tell me I bought the book I did this I did that I said oh do they know that you came from no well it's okay <laughs> don't worry <laughs> well sometimes they do say we heard it on the radio or we read an article and I know where we're advertising or not advertising so it kind of gives me a clue and i go hmm must have been from anita and sometimes it's in a particular geographic area like a lot of times it'll be florida Uh and i know you're based in florida so even though you broadcast probably all over right but um if we get someone from florida i kind of you know and they say they heard it on the radio or something then i know where it came from so are you doing a lot of radio? Um, we do a couple of shows. I do you, and then there's also a show that I do for morning commuters at 7 a.m. Um, every couple of months, and that's in Washington. But remember, uh, this show does not play when you're taping now. This is a right. tape we play in the morning, too, on, yep. on Saturday morning. Yeah, you do. A, it's at 5.30, right? Well, it varies. Yeah. Sometimes we put yep. you on anywhere from 5 to 8. It, you know, right. whenever we have a space, we just plug different people in. And then we do have a show on Sunday, too, for an hour. And sometimes we'll plug you in there instead. So it varies. But Cool. But anyway, let me tell you something that happened the other day, and you would appreciate this. I was walking along, I was coming from the grocery store, and you and I usually have someone, I have a lot of groceries, so I always have like someone helping me, you know, in the basket, and I take it, and I always look up at the sky, because usually I do this during the day, mm-hmm. and I look up at the sky, and you see these beautiful billowing clouds, and it's so nice, and I always say to the person, do you notice up in the sky, do you look up in the sky very much? And you know most people don't. 
I know. I do. I look at the sky when it's evening for the stars, you know, when it's not overcast. I look at the sky during the day. It's a very important place, and I don't know what happens out there, but I just know that that's where I think the energy all comes from. I have to agree with you. And you know when we have like a full moon like we've had like yesterday, I guess last night it was the pink moon, and um, the moon's been really bright, very full. And I do know that there's a shift in energy when we have a full moon. You know, we always say, oh, the full moon, all the crazies come out or whatever you want to say. But I think there is a shift in energy and a lot of things change. And um, they were talking about, I had a couple of friends that are in the metaphysical world, um, astrology and other things. And they were saying that this pink moon that we had last night was going to be a major shift for a lot of people. Oh, really? So, yeah. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what the shift is. They don't always say, that shift is going to make us all do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. It just means that there's going to be a shift. And I don't know about you, but I do feel shifts from time to time being on AIM. And um, it's really interesting because I'll, like, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll feel different. I'll go, wow, that was a shift. I feel more clear. I feel more at ease. Or if there was something that was bothering me, it's now very clear to me and very easy to understand and to navigate whatever it is. So hopefully with this shift that we had the other night, um, we'll all see something clearly, whatever it is, and um, feel that positive shift because I know it's positive. Well, let me just tell you that I, even though I'm a positive person, I really believe Being on the AIM program is helping me to get through losing Bill's presence. I mean, he's he's Mm -hmm. in the world somewhere, somewhere in wherever it is, but with his energy. But I think that the AIM program definitely has helped me to continue to do what I do, even though there are times I feel sad, but not. Mm -hmm. I'm able to get through a lot, and I'm thinking that anyone listening to this show, If you've had a loss in your life, why don't you get on the AIM program and see if that can help you? Because as Roberta just said, there's a lot of positive positivity in this whole thing with their program. And even though I've been on for a long time, I think now, if ever, I've really needed it. And I feel very strong because of it. And I would think that if you checked my uh, my what do we call it? The power, the uh, your photograph? No. Well, you always tell me, you know, zero to a hundred. You. Oh, your life force and my energy. life force. Now, when, when Bill passed or went on to his next wherever he is over there with Stephen, mm-hmm. um, I don't know what the life force was. Maybe it still stayed the same. I'm not sure, but I had spent so much time in the hospital and the rehab center. But I have to tell you right now, I feel stronger than ever, and. Not that I still don't miss him, but I feel sure. differently, and I really do attribute it to the AIM program. I have to agree with you. I think it does help us, because losing Stephen, when I look back on it, um, even though we were no longer a couple, but I talked to him every single day for nearly 30 years. And then when you all of a sudden they're not there, it's a loss. It's hard, and it's a difficult time for everyone, but I think... Two, being on the AIM program, we have all these positive affirmations, and we're stronger because we are able to, we've got that higher consciousness level. So even though we do grieve and we feel sad and everything, we can see our way out through the tunnel. We can see a a brighter future on the other side, and we do miss our loved ones, definitely. But I think um, the AIM program does guide us and makes us stronger and um, more conscious of what it is when someone dies and passes on to another life or whatever happens wherever they go. Um, So So I definitely agree. And tell people what AIM stands for. AIM stands for the all-inclusive method. And what that means is in our book we talk about homeopathic tinctures, which is what I used to make for Stephen when he would find energy Um, negative energies in someone, we would make up a remedy and you would take this homeopathic remedy. With the AIM program, we don't need to do that anymore. It's way faster, far superior. 
than it was back in those days. And we move thing, through things much quicker and with a lot less um, difficulty, I would say. It's, more, it's a lot easier to move through these things. And it's kind of like I think of it as um, starting a fire by rubbing sticks together or using a lighter. <laughs> and we're now using a lighter. So um, it just makes things so much faster, so much easier, and um, it's just way superior. And you don't have to worry with all of us traveling all over. You don't have to worry about not putting them through the x-ray machine because can you imagine going through the airport with tinctures? I don't know if you could make it through there. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you know, with all the restrictions now and things like that. And tell people why they send a photograph. What is in a photograph? Your photograph holds your energy, your energetic pattern. And if we were to look at ourselves without seeing faces and clothes and all those things, you would see a bunch of, um, like, fuzziness or a lot of energy moving around. I kind of equate it to when you go to a store and you see those old neon lights that used to buzz and they have, like, the open sign and it looks like somebody drew it. That energy pattern is represents us. So the energy is kind of moving around us. If we could see ourselves just with a, an energy moving around us, a, a string of light. And then if you ever see those black spots in the light where the light isn't illuminating through, whether it's burnt out or whatever, that represents the negative energies within us. Now, we don't mean negative energies, meaning there's some being inside us that's negative. It's those negative blocks, whether it be um, a negative feeling, maybe it's um, stress, maybe it's a disease, maybe it's a cold, a flu, whatever. But that's what those little black spots are. And what the AIM program does is it helps us to heal those spots. And we're doing the work ourselves. It's not the AIM program is just sending the energy to you and you do whatever it is you want to do with that energy. And you move that energy so then your energy is flowing freely within you, which allows you to be more conscious and to be more aware of what's going on, like looking up in the sky and seeing the stars or listening to the birds. We're all so busy all day that we kind of forget that stuff. Yeah, that's really true. I, I appreciate that. I, I'm i glad that you explained that because people ask me, and of course, you're such an expert at this, and I love when you explain this. So now that you're, you know, you're, I guess, would you say that you are the owner or the CEO of this organization? Well, I have a business partner, um, Evan Slauson, and he and Stephen wrote the book, and um, so the two of us run the organization. I do all of the day-to-day things. I do all of the testing. I find all the new frequencies. And Evan um, does more of the technical aspects, keeping our computers up and running, and that kind of thing. I see. Well, it's a small organization, isn't it, when you really yeah. look, look at it? Yes, doing it big sure things. Is. A small organization doing big <laughs> things, thank goodness, because of technology. Yes, for sure. We are um, far advanced, and so um, when things are are more advanced, it um, moves things faster, and we don't need as many people. And um, so our office is quite small. I just have three employees here. Mm. And then I have the facilitators that are on the outside um, disseminating information and talking to participants and helping them out. Yeah, I see that. Well, the other thing that... I think it's really important is that you continue to grow. Is that not true? I mean, people, when they get on the AIM, do they usually stay on? Or then maybe some people get off. But is it true that people continue uh, and then you get a lot of new people? Yes, because what happens is, like you, for instance, you're really excited about the program. So you tend to tell other people you have this radio program and we're talking to other people and people hear it. If it's their time, they'll come on. And yes, most of the people that are on the AIM program stay on the AIM program. Um, They might come off um, for a little while, maybe financial things or whatever. But most of the time, people realize what a change they've made in themselves. And when they're off the program, they can feel it. 
so their first intuition is to come back on the program. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's quite reasonable for, um, you know, if you think about a Starbucks coffee. (laughs) Oh, you're right. Everything's reasonable. (laughs) Yeah, and if you look at this versus, you know, the daily rate for this and the Starbucks coffee, it's actually less than buying Starbucks every day. So. Or, you know, whatever else you, you tend to do. But it's a priority, yes. And and it's a really good thing because it does a lot of other things, too. We have the anti-aging frequencies, which I guess it's this time of the year when the weather starts to shift and it's getting warmer. Everybody wants to be in a bathing suit. They want to be out running around. They want all this energy because we have longer days. So I get a lot of questions about anti-aging and that kind of thing and how to keep ourselves healthy for the long term. And so we have all those kind of things on there. So it helps us not only on the outside because we think of anti-aging as wrinkles, gray hair, that kind of thing. But anti-aging, we think of it more as your organs inside and how they're running for, for us. We want them to be running at the youngest um, number we can get, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're all living longer, so we want to live to the best of our ability for that period of time, too. So it helps with our organs and keeping them up to running capacity at a a great level. So Right, right. Well, it's it's very interesting that we have this conversation, as a matter of fact, because... Uh, I always feel like I have a lot of energy, and I've always had a lot of energy, but somehow I think that it's now coordinated better. And, of course, I'm usually never sick, and, you know, I guess from time to time I may be, but I always attribute this, uh, as I say again, to the AIM program as an assist. It doesn't mean it's the only thing, but I think it helps with all the things that I do. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I use other modalities as well. So, you know, I take my vitamins. I do a meditation. I also do grounding, which is such an easy thing, and it doesn't cost anything, and it really enhances um, our lives. And grounding is just walking in the sand at the beach or walking in the grass. And um, if you just do it for a few minutes a day, it amazingly changes a lot of things. It can improve your sleep. It can um, improve your digestion. It can reduce inflammation. It also reduces stress and anxiety and anger issues. You know, it gets you in tune with the earth, you know, and that's something that, you know, we don't always do because we're always wearing shoes and our shoes don't have leather on them on the bottom so much anymore mm-hmm. a lot of us wear flip-flops and things like that with the the rubber and things so if you take them off and walk through the sand for a few minutes a day you'd be amazed how much that changes too but i use a lot of things too and and this just works hand in hand with all those other things yeah that's right it's it's you know it's not like we don't take vitamins and we don't take everything else we, we always do that But I want to just get back. I was saying to you when we first started that I'm going to say something that's a little funny, but I was walking this morning, walking Charlie, our dog, and and I'm saying, okay, Bill, so where are you? You know, I I never believed that you were going to come back. I mean, I never really believed that, and I don't see you, but where are you? you got to be somewhere, I mean, because the energy can't go anywhere. So are you in this flower I'm passing, or are you in this, you know, the little chameleon I see? So... Show me your face, Bill. Where are you? Of course, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't stand in front of you and no. go, hey, I'm right here. <laughs> the flower didn't no. talk to you, huh? Oh, <laughs> Is that happening with Steve Aww. at all? He doesn't do that either, right? Well, you know, sometimes it's really funny. And um, when I say this story, I hope everybody doesn't think I've lost my marbles. But um, <laughs> I was in a meeting a while back, and um, because when he passed away, being that we have a business, there were some legalities that we had to deal with and what have you. And we were sitting in this meeting, and um, I could hear him plain as day in his colorful language telling me what to tell the person on the other side of the table. And I was trying not to laugh because it was a serious meeting, but he was trying to lighten me up and make me laugh. 
And it was really funny. And I came home and I told my other half that. And he goes, don't tell anybody that story. They're going to think you're nuts. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, I feel his energy. Mm-hmm. And I used to feel his mom when his mom passed away. And she always wore Oscar de Laurenta perfume, which is a very distinct smell. And I would smell her from time to time. And... um I don't smell her anymore, but for a while, I would smell her every once in a while. And I knew it was her because nobody else wore that that was around me, or I'd be in a meeting with all men, and obviously none of them were wearing Oscar de Laurenta. But, um, and occasionally I smell Stevens huh. um, cologne. No a kidding. Little t- every once in a while, I'll get a whiff of it. I'll be working out or, you know, driving in the car, and I'll smell it. And I'll go, hey, Steve, what are you trying to tell me? Come on, you know, because I want a name, address, telephone number kind of stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, it's hard for me to go, what is he trying to tell me? And go, oh, yeah, that's it. It has to kind of bop me on the head. So, <laughs> um, And there's times when I'm testing, and I can hear him say, concentrate, don't let your mind go. And I'll know that I kind of drifted off somewhere, and I go, oh, yeah, i got to concentrate. <laughs> Well, whether that's your inner being talking or whether it's him or I don't know. I yeah, but we don't. Know. I used to always say, Bill would always say, "Oh, I don't, I don't care. I, I'm not worried about dying. He said, I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to have so much fun." I said, "Are you really?" He said, "Oh, sure." And so that's the way it was left. So I don't know where he is or who he is or what he's doing or anything, but I know that he's somewhere and he's safe and he's he, all the good that and all who he was still is around. That is around. You see, that's yeah. the thing that can't leave, just like with Stephen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their, their energy, I believe, you know, they move from the physical body, but I believe that they're still, they're still around somewhere, you know, and I think they do watch over us and they do guide us. And um, so I don't think they give us all the answers. I think we have to still, you know, we're still doing our thing. But it just makes me feel better, and I'm sure it makes you feel better knowing that maybe they're still around, even though we're not. You didn't see them in the flower. Right, I didn't, didn't see them walking. Come up and say, hey. <laughs> right. You know, but sometimes you feel them, and, you know, so that's a good thing. It makes us feel better. Yeah, well, it's. Uh, I, I do spend some time talking to him that way. Hey, Bill. Yeah. You know, and I just got, he loved some of the magazines he used to order, the architectural magazines, and Uh one came in yesterday, and I was so busy, but I said, I'm going to sit down and read this as though he were reading it. And I was looking, I said, you would have loved that. And then there was a a new piece of property that just went up, and they're they're putting in a very nice architect, the architecture is very interesting, and I said, boy, I wish you were here to see this. You wouldn't have believed it. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, it's just sometimes we, you know, we see stuff and we go, gosh, you know, you would have really, you would have really thought this was funny or I would love to hear what your take is on this one, you know, because um, Steve always had his um, own way of thinking about something and right. he had his own ideas and he didn't um, mince words. So, no, I know he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He told it like it was, and if you didn't like it, well, too bad. He was going to say it anyway. So how about um, his wife? Mm -hmm. How is his wife doing? Do you talk to her? Yes, I do. We're we're very close, and plus with um, me handling a lot of the business stuff, I've had to, you know, we've had to keep in touch with taxes and all that kind of stuff, that fun stuff. But she's doing well. She's had a very difficult time, I think, Mm. but um, she's doing, I think she's doing quite well. She's hanging in there, and um, things are getting better for her, I'm sure. So we do talk from time to time, and I'm, you know, trying to keep, you know, her positive and, you know, thinking of funny stories. That kind of thing to when she starts feeling down and will call me, I'll think of something that he would say that was really funny. And um, because he had a really, he was like Bill, he had a different way of looking at (laughs) passing on. And for him, yeah, and he didn't, he would be sad, yes, when he lost his mom and when we lost our cat and those kind of things. He would be sad, of course. 
But he had a really interesting way of looking at it. He was not afraid of dying. He wasn't afraid of that. He thought it was going to be a really interesting next part to the life. Mm. And um, he always thought that, you know, it was just going to escalate him to another level, and he would be at another level somewhere else, even though he wouldn't be here physically. And he was, um, it was a very interesting. He didn't dwell on the sadness at all. He Mm -hmm. always looked at the positive side of it and went on, you know, and he always taught me that, you know, don't be afraid of it and just look at the positive side of it. You know, you were always around your energy. He always believed that your energy would still be here. You're just not here in the physical. So I try to remind her of that. Well, keep that pot. And it's hard, you know, but have to do it. Yeah. I had a, um, author on just before you and it's it was fabulous and and he just handed me it he had left with me and i was just looking at it as i was talking to you and I, we're gonna have to go but i'll just tell you uh he's handed me something that had a bunch of things on it and this is what it says life moves pretty fast if you don't stop and look around once in a while you could miss it by ferris bueller i thought that's kind of funny that's true well yeah. you and i don't do that we do, we do look at everything don't we we do. Well, I want to thank you very much. I love having you on, and I want everyone to be able to please go to aim, well, energeticmatrix.com or aimprogram.com, right? Yes, that's true. Okay, go Either and one. see what we're talking about and join. Tell them yes. to, and, and ask for, okay, and ask for my friend, Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yes. Roberta. I really You're appreciate welcome. you doing this, and have a, a, very, have a great day. Uh, continuing life okay hey you too and it was great chatting with you have a beautiful day all right thank you bye Uh uh-huh bye-bye